Okay, if you guys see here, I'm going 60 miles an hour, and I have a cop that's behind me coming up right now, coming up pretty fast. I'm going to take a record of this. Point 65, and he was about maybe pretty far away back from me. Going about 65 miles an hour. There goes your cop. At least going 80 miles an hour. Look how many cars he's passing. It's been 10 seconds. Look how fast he's going. I'm going 65 miles an hour. 65 miles an hour. And he's already passed one, two. Hey, can't even see him. Hey, he's gone. He's passed four cars. Four cars. I'm going 65. Look how far ahead he is of me. At least 80 to 90 miles an hour he's going. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This police and sheriff department is unfair. Unfair. Look how far he is. He's way over there. Way over there. It's just not fair to us people, civilians, that are going, you know, 65, the speed limit is 65. And it's unfair. And I'm about to hit a place where you're supposed to go 55 miles an hour. And I guarantee he is not going 55 miles an hour. You know, they stop us because we're driving 70 miles an hour. You know, we, we're endangering people because the way we're speeding and driving. Look at him. He's not going, okay, 60 miles an hour. He is not going 60 miles an hour. 60. There's no way he's going 60 miles an hour. If you guys are gonna enforce the law of us going speed limit, it should go for the police officers too. It's dangerous that he's going 80, 90 miles an hour and he's not even going after anybody. No one, he's not going after anybody. You know, he just feels like speeding because he's a cop and he can feel like he can do whatever he wants. Pick it up. Literally, he's, oh my God. He's literally like five miles ahead of me within three minutes. How's that possible, man? I don't understand.